Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I hope the lighting is good. I like changed the brightness on my camera. I don't know if that did anything. It might have just been like the display. Dis <laughs> I thought I was going to be able to do this intro without mispronouncing words or fucking up. Guess not. The display brightness, that's might it might what it. <laughs> hope the lighting is good for you guys. Um and the angle and everything. I don't really know. Um, so I have my brows on. And I got them done yesterday. So they look... Mmm. Just... Mmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, today, I'm going to be doing a look for you guys. I want to do, like, another summer look. Um, I'm probably going to voice it over. I don't even remember what I did for the last one. I just did it the other day, too. Like, last week. Anyway. I'm just gonna get into this video because I don't like these videos being long. I like makeup tutorials being short because they're satisfying to watch, but a lot of people already know how to do this shit. So, one eye and then I'll come back to show you guys how to do the other eye. Be right back, hoes. <laughs> hey guys, so I did one eye. So, I got this idea from Pinterest and at first I was like, oh, I want to do a green look. But I didn't have like the right greens that I wanted to use and I'm getting um, the Jeffree Star palettes that my boyfriend ordered tomorrow. So that's going to be like the next makeup tutorial. So we're doing a purple look today and yeah, the this would solely suit um, brown eyed people, which is not me, um, which is why I want brown eyes a lot. But I do like my green eyes, I do like my blue eyes, so it's nice, but I feel like having blue eyes you can't use you can but it's like you can't use like the more neutral colorful colors if you know what I mean like this lavender purple would look better on brown eyes but besides the point we're not gonna you know we're not gonna go all out with the eye color or whatever you can barely see my eyes with this this big ass fucking lash on look everything will look better once I have like my face on and everything I know like in the camera looking at it it literally just looks like I have a black eye but it's much more than that, I promise. So I'm going to zoom you guys in to show you guys how I did this eye. And I am going to do like kind of a talk through type of thing. Um, I'm going to try to anyway. So I am going to be priming with the P. Louise base in Rumor 2. I need to like adjust the lighting. Like I don't know what it is. Hold on. Oh God, and now my battery is going to die. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to be priming with the P. Louise base in Rumor 0.5. I think I said rumor point two, and then I'm just gonna carve out my eyebrows with this Morphe M432. I'm just gonna take my sponge and like blend it out with the sponge, um, because we don't set this primer. I've said this before, but we just don't set it with powder. Blending it out with the sponge will at least make it stay in place. It definitely still needs to be like blended out with like either a brush or a sponge, um. Because otherwise it's just going to be too wet to work on. I would kind of recommend a smaller brush. But I feel like because I have big eyelid space I can get away with using this. I wish the lighting was like better. But it's just not. So <laughs> so I'm just going to be using this Wet n Wild crease brush. And I'm using the Norvina. Which one is this? Volume something. This one's a volume 4 one. So these are all the colors. And we use uh, fuck, this color, this color. And then there's this color and this color. We're going to be using all... Wait, not this color. Hold on. This color, this color, this color, and this color. Yeah, those four. So it's... Hold on. It is A4, B5, B3, and D5. Those are the colors we're going to be using in this palette for the browns. And then C4, which is the purple shade right there, that is the lavender we're going to be using. So let's just get the fuck into it. Everything's going to go in the crease. Um, just because it's more of like a cut crease, smoky eye, blown out look. Um, so you want everything to be in the crease at first and then we'll blend it out from there. So just tap that bitch in. So when it kind of looks like that, this is when you can start building because now you have a powder on the crease and where you want to blend. Um, don't worry about the top because this will just kind of like catch, not the fallout, but didn't my dumbass just say in the beginning of the intro, oh, makeup videos are so satisfying to watch, but everyone knows how the fuck to do this. So why the fuck am I explaining it? 
so anyway basically i pat like every brown into the crease and then i just end up blending it out in the crease like mixing all of them together kind of just so we don't have like any patchy spots and then i fade it out um towards my brow bone just so we have that like faded effect and then i will cut the crease and then probably go back in with a brown to like correct the cut crease that i probably fucked up and then i put the lavender on the cut crease and then I do the eyeliner, which is probably a little bit more complicated, so I'm going to cut it here until I get to editing that part. But yeah, I just completed what I did in 45 seconds rather than explaining it out for four more minutes. So, you're welcome. So I'm not even going to lie, of course, like, purple was, like, kind of hard to put on. It didn't really stay, so yeah it, i had a little a tricky moment here but basically when i patted out the concealer because we don't want to set the concealer so that the eyeshadow can obviously stick so when i put that on it was just kind of like brushing off after i was blending it so what i did was i set down all of the lavender like all the purple i did on the concealer and then i took the darker brown to actually blend in the half cut crease at the outer corner so i blended that in um and then at the end when i was like done blending the brown in in, I took my finger and used the purple even though it was a matte shade and I just tapped it like to blend it even a little bit more and to still make it pigmented so here's the more complex complicated step in this eyeshadow tutorial it is called the concealer eyeliner which was a trend years ago I said in this video that I think I did it when I was either 12 or 13 I think I had to be 13 I was going on vacation with me my mom and my brother we went to New Jersey and I wore this on the day that we like left my house to go and drive there and yeah I remember it was like a half cut crease with brown eyeshadow with a concealer eyeliner which looking back on it like that name is so fucking weird but anyway here it shows you guys I basically just cut out the top of my upper lash line at first um because I just wanted to focus on doing that because I'm doing like a reverse ombre on it too so I'm doing the darker brown in the inner corner and then making it lighter on the outer part of the wing so you guys will see that towards the end you can also see it on my other eye um but i started with the base first and then i ended up doing the wing second so like once i'm done with like blending it and getting it all set and done so that doesn't move then i focus on the wing just to make it like all one type of thing i also used the same brush that i used to cut my crease i i wouldn't recommend using an eyeliner brush i think that might be a little bit more difficult because you're kind of tapping this in and you do need it thicker because you're using um you're using lashes and you want to be able to see it. you want it to be like part of the eyeshadow so it's a little bit more than just eyeliner so for the concealer eyeliner part of it um this was a little tricky with the brush that i was using and that's why i wanted to explain it so because this is a circular brush the way that i put the concealer on my brush was really important so i put it on the tip of the brush just a little bit and then i put it on one side of the brush and when I did the wing out, um, I had the concealer on the top of it and the concealer on the tip and there was none on the bottom, if that makes sense. And that is how I did that. And then it just shows me like blending it out and making sure everything was good. And I dusted off the translucent powder off my lashes so I could also see what I was exactly working with after everything was done so I could keep blending or not. So I did add me doing my face makeup in here just for fun because I posted multiple like full face routines and like base videos and stuff like that if you guys want to check that out or if you want like a new one i haven't really updated much of anything i do like change around my foundations and stuff to just whatever i have to use because i have so many i need to like use them up um but i'm just like jamming i'm listening to music i'm like using my fan because it gets like mad hot in my beauty room um and i don't have like a ceiling fan in there so i have like a little fan <laughs> so yeah i'm just doing my thing i wanted to show it though because i do feel like it adds to the video and it is fun to watch because i love when people like put this stuff in like vlogs and stuff like that so let me know if you guys want me to keep like adding it in or if you guys want me to do a new one or just cut the fucking shit out and like come back and be like oh i did my makeup but i feel like some people get annoyed when people are like oh i did this but i didn't show it but i just did that you know what i mean so let me know because i can do whatever so after my face was done, I actually went back to my eyes, obviously, and I actually highlighted my inner corner of my brow bone, which I usually don't do for every look. I think I do it with, like, darker looks, but honestly, let me know, because I don't do it for every look. I don't feel like every look needs it. 
Then I was deciding between a brown waterline eyeliner or a purple one. And I actually had, I went with the purple one, but I actually had to end up sharpening this one. And I actually don't know if I was supposed to because it's plastic. But fuck it. But yeah, <laughs> it came out pretty good. Um, I was happy with it. I knew I should have just went with purple anyway. So I'm glad I did and not have fucked up the look. And then I just did my lower lash line with just light brown eyeshadow. I didn't go crazy or nothing like that. And I'm just showing you guys a look. I look stupid as fuck here. I don't know what I was doing, bro. I, <laughs> I don't know why my eyes look so fucking dark. They're really not. Like, can I hold this at, like, a different angle? That's not going to make my eyes look so dark. Probably not. Because the lighting just sucks. I think it's literally this camera, too. All right. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, give it a thumbs up. And comment down below if you guys have any questions, concerns, or just want to chat. I usually respond to all my comments. Um, yeah. I love you guys. <laughs> Bye.